What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and before I say anything else I want to say massive massive happy Merry Christmas to every single one of you watching this video that celebrates. I hope you have a fantastic Christmas. Hope you get everything you've asked for. I hope you spend time with your family and friends. Hope you eat a lot of good food and I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, the purpose of this video is to show you guys what my WWE 2021 Christmas haul looks like. What I got for Christmas this year that is WWE related or just anything to do with wrestling. Uh, <laughs> I did it last year. It did really well. I very much enjoyed it and I thought, do you know what? Let's make this a, uh, an annual thing. I'm going to do it again. So without further ado, let's get right into it. But firstly, I just want to show off a couple of things that I have uh, that aren't wrestling related, but I thought you guys might find cool or you might enjoy. So my girlfriend this year, by the way, has spoiled me rotten. I'm going to admit it. I'm going to admit it. I have been absolutely spoiled this year by my girlfriend. Uh, she has bought me a lot of of stuff. Now, a lot of you don't know if you, you may well do. Um, my girlfriend and I are long distance. We don't get to see each other that often. Uh, you know, it's not like it could be worse, but we don't get to see each other all the time. So we, uh, unfortunately, we're not together this Christmas uh, as we weren't last Christmas either, but we try and make the best of it by spoiling each other. So what she got me? First off, guys, let's start off uh, slow and start off at the bottom. She got me a new portable charger, an anchor power bank. I've been needing a new one of them for a little while. Uh, she got me a few new PS4 games. I got three of them. Now, they're not brand new games. They're just games that I haven't played yet, and she knows that I would enjoy them. So we got uh, Hitman, the gold edition, Steelbook on PS4. Uh, we've got L.A. Noir by Rockstar Games on PS4. And we've got Far Cry 3, uh, the classic edition, on PS4. Other than that, uh, she also got me two Nintendo Switch games. Uh, I've got Super Mario 3D World with Bowser's Fury. This is from her mum and dad, so I'm very thankful for that. Also, she got me new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. I can't wait to play this. Uh, I have, I've always been a massive Mario Bros. games fan. I know they're all basically the same, but I still get enjoyment out of them. Uh, then, real quick, uh, my parents got me this awesome No Time to Die DVD, the brand new James Bond film. Uh, obviously, being a Brit, I'm already a massive James Bond fan. I think every Brit is. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, the new James Bond DVD, awesome thing to have. Uh, my girlfriend Ellie also got me tickets to go and see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, the play in London, uh, just before my birthday in April next year. Then finally, the big bombshell from her is this right here, PlayStation 4 slash 5 uh, Sony Pulse 3D wireless headset. I have been asking for a new headset for a long time and I cannot wait uh, to use this. It's made for the PS5, but you can use it for the PS4 as well. I don't actually have a, uh, a PS5 yet, but as you can see on the bottom, uh, you can use it on the PS4 as well. So that's all the non-wrestling related stuff out the way. Without further ado, let's get right into my first wrestling related item. Okay, guys, now really, really quickly before we get into it, I just want to say I'm sorry if you hear any background noise. Obviously, my whole family is here for Christmas, so you might hear the pipes on if someone runs the tap. I don't know. Uh, this is probably my most casual video of the year that I do. I try and be very much, you know, I want to share my Christmas excitement with you guys, and I just I just want to show you what I've got, and I can't wait for you guys to tell me what you've got either. I view you guys as one big family, so I'm glad that we can share this moment in this video once again as we did last year. But I've stalled for too long. Let's get right into my first WWE wrestling related item. And as always, same as last year, many of you have probably also opened this today. The brand new 2022 WWE official calendar. Here we are, we got the WWE calendar. I always get one every year. I stick it on my wardrobe door, write down what I need to do through the year. Uh, but yeah, it, it looks good. I mean, it's basically the same layout as last year. Let me tell you who's on each month. We got on January, Roman Reigns, February, Drew McIntyre, March, Bobby Lashley, April, my birthday, the man I share a birthday with. On 23rd, John Cena is for April. 
Uh, what comes after April? It's May, uh, Randy Orton, June, The New Day, July, Finn Balor, August, Apollo Crews, September, AJ Styles and Amos. Oh, that hasn't aged very well, has it? Uh, <laughs> October is Edge, November is Seth Rollins, <laughs> and then uh, December is Ray and Dominic Mysterio. So let me know, did you guys get a WWE calendar this year? Uh, I know a lot of you did last year, so let me know in the comment section down below. Any of these items, if, if we've snapped and, you know, we you've got the same item let me know i'm intrigued or just let me know what you got for christmas i really want to know what you guys have got anyway that was item number one let's get right in to item number two Okay, everyone. Now, you guys know I'm a big WWE replica belt fan and anything related to that sort of side of the memorabilia. And uh, that includes side plates. Now, I've done many of reviews of side plates. I've got a fair amount of side plates. I've got Lesnar's, I've got Ambrose, I've got Rollins, I've got Bryan's, I've got... Uh, who else have I got? I'm sure there's someone else in that list, but I've forgotten. I've got a lot, anyway. And uh, recently... They've been going on sale quite a bit on WWE Euroshop because most of the people with side plates have unfortunately been released. Meaning when a talent gets released, basically all their memorabilia drops heavily in price. So with that being said, this one is from my girlfriend. It is a set of side plates for the recently released Monster Among Men. Braun Strowman. We have seen these on the WWE Intercontinental and Blue Universal Championship. And Ellie got me these awesome Braun Strowman side plates. So stay tuned for the channel. I will be doing an in-depth review of these Braun Strowman side plates very, very soon. But if I just take one out quickly, as you can see, it's just Braun's logo. It's very, very nice. Oh, look, there's me. You can see me. Hello. Um, yeah, there you are. Braun Strowman side plates. So that is the first set of side plates I've got. Uh, I have three sets to get through. So I'm not going to cut. Let's just do it again. The next set of side plates is also from Ellie, my girlfriend. We actually went halves on these ones. Uh, so she paid half. I paid half because this was a very last minute present due to... Um, what happened, unfortunately, last month. Now, we all know what recently has gone on with Jeff Hardy. He has been released, but he's still one of my favourite WWE superstars. And I had to jump at the opportunity to grab his side plates before they were disappearing off WWE shop in the near future. So, Jeff Hardy side plates, they're nice, they're awesome. Here they are. I, I'm literally, guys, these weren't wrapped. Do you know why? Because these arrived yesterday these side plates arrived on christmas eve so i weren't wrapping them i just you know i took them straight upstairs and put them with the rest of the side plates so yeah jeff hardy side plates they've got a really unique design now i didn't realize this about jeff hardy's logo until probably i don't know early this year late last year that is a j and a h and it's also a face look at it there's the H, if you can see, and then there's the J. It's, it's, it's flipped for me, but you guys can tell, probably. Jeff Hardy side plates. Lovely, awesome side plates. Not bad. Every single set of these side plates I have were only £30 each, when standard WWE shop prices for plates are 90 So I've basically got three for the price of one. So there's the Jeff Hardy side plates, which brings us to the final set of side plates. Could not miss out on these ones. Don't actually have the official replica for these, but I couldn't miss out on them. Ladies and gentlemen, I've let him in. It's the Fiend Bray Wyatt set of side plates. These have been seen on the red and the blue Universal Championship. Bray also has another alternate set of side plates uh, for the Fiend character that just say Hurt and Heal. And then for himself, Bray Wyatt, he's got just Bray Wyatt side plates that he had on the WWE Championship back in the day. Forgot to mention, then Jeff Hardy side plates have only been seen on the Intercontinental title. But anyway, opening up this box, you can see the Fiend Bray Wyatt side plates. Now, he used the alternative Hurt Hill ones for literally a week. Uh, in that period between SummerSlam and Payback last year where he won the Universal title before dropping it to Roman, that's when he used them. But for the most part, his Universal title reign was these side plates, which is the Fiend's face. And I think this is awesome. So there we go. That was my side plates. Once again, I will be doing up close and personal in-depth reviews of all three sets of side plates, Braun, Jeff and Bray, uh, hopefully in the coming week, if not coming weeks. Uh, so look out for them. If you're enjoying this uh, side plate content, then 
let me know and uh, in the comment section down below and I will be making some in-depth reviews. So there's the side plates out of the way. Let's get right into my next WWE item. Now guys, I've been a little bit naughty, okay? I put on the naughty list for this one. I'm booking this video as a WWE haul. The next item I have is actually AW. It's all elite wrestling. It's an AEW item in a WWE video. What is going on? The, uh, the, the what's it called? What's the door? The forbidden door. I've just kicked it down. And uh, yeah, here we are. It is an AEW t-shirt. Didn't buy it from shopaew.com. Bought it from Pro Wrestling Tees. Had to buy it. Let me know if you want to see a review on this one as well. Because it is the All Elite Wrestling CM Punk Ringer t-shirt. Now, a lot of people uh, unfortunately missed their opportunity to get this t-shirt. Instead, uh, shop has been shipping out just normal white t-shirts instead of the ring accurate ringer t-shirt with the black neckline and arm uh, like lines. <laughs> so yeah, I actually managed to get it. Uh, they had them back in stock for a little while on Pro Wrestling Tees. So I ordered one of them and uh, I've got this CM Punk t-shirt. Now I will do probably a review for this as well. So I'm not going to do the whole, you know, where I, 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 I'm not going to click because it will spawn on me uh, and I don't want to wear it right now. I'm wearing my Christmas jumper, but maybe uh, in another video, I will be doing this. But yeah, CM Punk ringer t-shirt. I don't think these are as rare to come by now as they were when they first came out. It was a real gamble. If you ordered one, you might get a ringer, you might get a plain white t-shirt. It was like a 60-40% chance. Uh, but I've now got one, and there we go. Let's move on to my final item in my WWE 2021 Christmas haul video. Okay, context. I told everyone that I wasn't going to be buying another replica belt until I bought a PS5. I don't yet have a PS5 because a year down the line, they're still not readily available. So I thought, should I ask for a replica belt for Christmas again? I don't have room in the cabinet anymore, but I did sell my big gold. And four months since I lost the JTW Intercontinental Championship to Zach Rowe in August in my last backyard wrestling match, there has been a blank space on that wall and it is annoying me. Something needs to go there. So... I started browsing on eBay, which is dodgy business if you're into replica belts anyway, because there's so many bootlegs on there. Uh, but I found this deal that I physically could not pass up. I couldn't let it go. Guys, believe it or not, I know I have a history of being good with these kind of deals. But this is my biggest bargain yet. This replica belt that I will show you in a minute, I bought for 60 pounds 60 pounds it's like a 280 pound belt brand new and i bought it for 60 pounds now also for context guys you cannot buy this on wwe shop anymore this is an old figures inc belt a figures toy company belt that came out in 2008 hence the old wwe logo i don't think you guys can tell what it is yet but i'm about to start unzipping it ladies and gentlemen the championship belt I have right here, you can buy a version of on WWE Shop, but it is inaccurate and it sucks. So you might as well go with this version because, guys, I have purchased for Christmas a WWE United States Championship. The scratch logo version on eBay. It is very beaten up. It's a very old belt. I don't think you can tell on camera. I mean, look at the the, the simulated leather is super floppy. They, they are never this floppy, which shows its age. It's uh, the one of the bolts has snapped there. You can see it shows its wear and tear, which I don't mind at all for the price. And uh, also considering it was made in 2008. But here we go. Uh, it's got a Matt Hardy nameplate, which is unique. A Matt Hardy nameplate uh, I will actually be removing that when I do a review video because yes I will be doing an unboxing or I've already shot the unboxing video by the time you've seen this but this will go up first unboxing and in-depth review video of this championship title but yeah there you go guys that was my Christmas haul I've got myself three sets of side plates I've got a CM Punk t-shirt I've got a United States championship it's two millimeters thick but it is a real metal belt, as you may be able to tell. There you go. Uh, real metal replica. You know, this is the US title that I grew up with. Or not specifically this one. Basically this one, other than a few paint mods. Uh, as you can see on these side plates, there's not that much blue, pla uh, blue paint. But on the one uh, that came after this, and the one that was seen 
before it was retired. Uh, you had like blue paint here. This is the original version, debuted by Eddie Guerrero. I think it was last held by Shelton Benjamin in like 2008. I think when WWE went HD, they decided to uh, paint this belt up a little bit more, but there you go. Uh, I'm getting way ahead of myself here. I'll save all of this for the in-depth review. But let me know what you got in the comment section down below. Did you get what you wanted? Even if it's not WWE related, I'm really interested to see what you guys have got. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I consider you guys family, which is why I want to come out and I want to share my happiness with you. Hopefully it can put a smile on your face as well. But I'm going to end a video like I've never ended a video before. I have been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. We're going to quickly put this belt on the wall because I'm sick and tired of having nothing on there. Uh, so I can finally put something on the wall. And uh, before I end the video, I want to sit back down and see what it looks like in my new setup. That looks much better better once again see you guys in the next one like comment and subscribe merry christmas everyone thanks for watching